Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about the bootstrap view with the form select options. And it's working basically, as you know, from the HTML or something like that. But in bootstrap view, we can change it so it's uh, look more nice. So like you know from other uh, CSS libraries. So that's what we're going to do today. I will show you the, all the tricks I know about the, the bootstrap views and the select form and uh, then I think you are good to go after that. So I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and uh, if you have any questions please make them in the comments below and don't forget to rem uh, to like and share and remember the the code will be on the github you can find the link to, to that in the description and then you can go inside and see all the code I've done. So thank you and uh, let's go ahead to build the first uh, the form select. The first form select will be B form select, and inside this, we we can build it uh, uh, like this form options. But uh, I think it's more nice to show the the simple way first, and then you can just say V model should be uh, select one, and to this we want to say options. It's equal to options one and uh, code value select one. And we don't have changed anything. And uh, the options should be put this one. For the options, we uh, we need to we can just say null here. For the options, we can uh, make a object inside the array, and uh, do it a morph move here. Inside that, we need the, the value should be null, and then the text should be. Uh, Option one not selected yet, and then we can say two, three, four, five. Adjust this, and this one should be a. This should be b, and this should be an object. We call it c and option four. And then we need to say D. And I think we need to change a little bit here. And then we are good to go. And uh, I think we sh shape with array and is this a whoops. And then we can say disabled true. So let's go ahead and go in the browser and see what's happening here. You can see this is the options. This is with the array. I can't select the option 5 because it's disabled. If I select the option 4, it will be with the object. And then the 3, 2, and this is not selected yet. This is very basic about the, how we can work in, with, the, with the options in, in the basic way. If you are working with the with the options before in the HTML, then you know we can create a, a group like uh, so you can say something is inside other thing and then you can select it. We can do this in the in the bootstrap uh, select form too. And for this, I will just copy this one and we copy this one. And I'll just go inside and say this one. And what we're gonna do inside here should be a label, oops, a label. And this should be uh, grouped options. And then we have options here. And this is the new array too. And that's simple. And that's how we can work with that. 
Uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, that's what we're going to do, A, B, C, D. And everything here is fine. Let's go back and you can see we have uh, options one, two, three, and then we have four and five. Five is still disabled. So this is the grouped options. So it's it's pretty easy to know how we can work with that. And uh, that's make it so powerful because you can make the options uh, totally dynamic. So if you have a big site where based on something and you need to change it on the fly, then it's pretty simple to do it this way. If you want to do anything uh, manually, of course you can do this and that's what we want to speak about now. So that's going back for the browser, uh, the editor, sorry. I think we want to recreate the B form, uh, the select two one, just to, as a select tree. And for this, we want to say B form, select it. Inside this, we want, uh, want to say the V model should be selected tree and that's the only thing we need here and create the name and then you can see how much code we basically want to create just for do that ourselves and form select options value should be null and this is the option one not selected and uh, then we want to say the option two a and we need to be the b should be disabled and then we want to create a group b form select option group and this group label should be grouped options and then I want to put this inside and this inside and two three four five C option four the option five and as you can see here it's much more code but it's the same as we've done before this one and this one will be equal uh, based on the what we're going to do and you can see down here we have still the group and the group and i can just select it and everything is fine number three is disabled here so that's perfect but you can see what when we are going inside and, and build it out of itself, it's taking much more time and, and it's not so uh, like, uh, dynamic. That's what we call it. And that's why I recommend you to do it this way because it's much easier for you to, to type and you can do it more dynamic if you need to change it later and you will save a lot of time. So that's why I will recommend this for you. Sometimes you would want to make sure data could be many reasons, but uh, what we want to speak about now is it's how we can combine uh, the manual working with the dynamic working and how we can work a little bit with sludge. So I'll just copy this down here and call it four. And four. Going down here and going for options four. I'll just put this one down. I don't want everything. I'll just say A, whoops, A and B, option one, and that should be it. You need to create the options with the two values because then we will dynamic working here with that uh, inside here, you can see, and we don't have to select anything. Now we want to make a template, and this template should be bounded to the V slot. And it's called uh, vslot first. So that's meaning that's the first one we want to, to do. So form select options here, and we can just see. Uh, please select an option. And we say the value here should be 
no but that's mean if you don't have select anything then it sh should be this one and exactly and then you can select something and it's working as it should be now it could be some reasons you you say it's you don't care about uh, the, the options from the dynamic one like from a database is empty because you need uh, something uh, that wants us to use the manual so that's what we're going to do now so it's, um, i'll just copy this one then i'll save uh, a little bit of time here and the value of this should be a b c and we can just say option three and option four and let's say d and if i'm going back to the browser now and you can see nope you can't see that because it's something wrong with that and uh, that's pretty interesting because i'm out of the scope so sorry for that that's going back and now it's working option one two three four let's uh, showing the value so you can see what happening you can select one two three four and going back so what you have done now it's uh, the way where you can uh, combine your your option here and uh, how you can mix it between the dynamic one and put the first scope on with the template and then add something in the end of it so that's uh, pretty nice so let, let's continue as developer you probably need uh, you, you know about the um, it's not always you can say to to the api developers i need the uh, i needed to to the response to call it value and the text and if you get it in, the, in other formats that's meaning you need to create a loop and then just uh, uh, waste the cpu time for this in the in the form select and uh, you can you can bind it from the other one so I'll just copy this down. I'll call five, and uh, I'll just say this is the item. And this is should be the title. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E. And uh, then we can just say this one say not active. That's meaning it should be uh, about this active or not. And uh, this one, the E one, we can of course uh, just create it as an E, and then just put this one like we know from from one of the other uh, example and. Uh, not selected yet and now we basically have some content you can receive from the developer if you don't know about how you can uh, create the apis and something like that and that could be pretty uh, annoying so for this uh, to fix this you can um, you can bind it up for your own uh, data here that's what we're going to do now and i'll show you how we can fix this issue uh, so you don't going into the big uh, headache about that so the first we're gonna do should be uh, to bind it here with the, uh, with the five uh, whoops um, V model I need to break a little bit up and then we say value field should be item and the text field should be title and the disabled field should be oops field should be not active if we save this and we are going back for, for that 
you will uh, probably see this will work. And we still have it here. And uh, I can see the values is not correct, so here we go. A, B, C, and 5, and this is not active. So that's how you can uh, bind it up. So that's the last thing. That's uh, how you can bind your own uh, value keys to the options, and that's working pretty good. So thanks so much to have you here today. And don't forget to press the link below and subscribe my channel. And if you have any questions, please make the comments below. I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. And of course, I really hope you want to like and share this video. Don't forget, all my source code will be found on my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. And then you can get the access for my code. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.